Hey guys, welcome to the Element Pack Pro widget tutorial. In today's video, we'll talk about the webhook form widget, how to use it and how to customize it. Let's start. First, let's drag and drop the widget inside the page. By default, the widget shows two input fields and a submit button. The webhook form can be a very useful feature as it helps you pull data from your website and send them to any predetermined CRM as you please. CRMs like Fluent CRM that have the incoming webhook feature can pull data from, the, from our webhook widget. From the options, you can add a link to the target destination site or CRM where you want to pull the data. For your information, you can use the webhook form to pull data from your WordPress site to popular CRMs like Zapier, Pebbly, Make.com, Albato, Epix Drive, Workload.co, etc. Just make sure that these platforms support the incoming webhook feature and you're good to go. Then click on the create button to finish creating a webhook link. Then copy that link address. Now go back to our site. Paste the link inside the webhook URL field and link it up with the target CRM platform. Next, from the security fields section, you can create and customize authentication methods for the form. And also change the data position. This way you can add protection to the target link from unwanted or suspicious data entering the database. Note that you have to insert the security token in the target CRM security system, although there are automated systems that don't recur manual token insertion. Next, in the form fields section, you can add, remove or customize the form fields and pull selective user data. Each form field box here lets you customize the input type, level, field name, placeholder and column width. You can customize the column width to put multiple fields within a single row. Let's add another field to the form. If you switch to the advanced subsection for the field, you can change it from optional to required by flipping the switcher here. There's also a field to state the default value of the field. Back into the Fluent CRM webhook link manager, here you can see what type of data you can pull and their key codes. Going back to our site, open each field and put the field keys into the field name option. After that, you can customize the form layout slightly in the next section. Here, you can turn off the label, change the input area size or change the text alignment. And lastly, you can customize the submit button text, button size and alignment. Now you can jump into the style tab to customize the appearance of the webhook form to your liking. Here, the first section lets you customize the field space and column space of the form. Then for level, you can edit the spacing, the text color and then customize the font style through typography. After that, go into the fields section and here you can change the input text color of the fields. Following that, change the field placeholder color and background color. Then let's add a solid border around the fields having a thin border width. Then change the border color as well. You can curve the edges of the border using the border radius values. Then customize the padding values to change the shape or area of the fields. Later on, work on the typography to customize the font style. When it's done, you can go into the submit button section and start with the text color option. 
and then the background color option. Also add a solid border around the button with the same values as the fills. But adjust the padding field more evenly and then work on the typography settings. After that, you can get into the hover subsection and reverse the color orders to create a nice hover effect. Change color for the text, background and border. Now let's save settings at this point and open the page in preview mode. And also let's fill up the form to test if it works correctly. Submit your info and wait for the confirmation message. Now heading back to the CRM and checking if the data was pulled. And yes, it's successfully imported into the email list. And that's how the webhook form works. That's all for now. Hope this video helped. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to get updates on new tutorials and tips. Until then, stay safe and see you next time.